wasn't on my bingo cards. And this time of season, a failure is a good thing. Day 11 of the Doha 2024 World Aquatics Championships would see four further gold medals awarded in the pool. And the first final of the second night of swim action was expected to be a blockbuster event featuring A-list talent. Reigning and returning Olympic champion Adam Peaty in his first world final for five years against a host of fellow global medal winners. This was a final which certainly lived up to its billing. He's got to challenge him again. Williamson is flying in the yellow cap. He's right at the top of the screen there, but in the yellow lanes there. Petey in the red. In the black, it's Fink. Fink perhaps just in touch. Williamson's still there. Now they're coming through in two and three as well. Matsurath and Kaminga, but they are clearing away now. Nick Fink, it's going to be. Martin Engie's going with him. Nick Fink it is. Fink takes it out. Martin Engie takes the silver and Petey the bronze. It's definitely crazy that, you know, getting... First, first world's gold in the 100 breast at, at age of 30 is something I wasn't predicting, you know, it wasn't on my bingo card. So the fact that I was able to accomplish so much in my career and like still experience new things has been, it's been kind of a really fun ride. Now back in December, Germany's Angelina Kohler won a shock first European short course title, her first major honor. And she had now qualified quickest for the 100 meter butterfly world final. Ultimately, it turned into a fairly clear and emotional victory for the rapidly improving German. Goes in there with a head in front, Hansen not far behind, but this is where Kohler can really put him away. Yes, she's in front by about half a body length. The Throssel's on her right, she's got a bit of ground to make up. Kurzen's there as well. Kurzen holding down second, it's Kohler. Angelina Kohler, can she hang on? Kurzen's closing, Kohler should get there. Kohler it is. Kohler takes the goal from Kurzen and Hansen. Germany, the USA and Sweden. One, two, three. I put so much of mental work, of the work with my coach, the work with my athletic coach. It was, yeah, there was such a great team and I think it's all over. I have a nice team, I have nice teammates, I have the best coaches in the world and uh, yeah, I have so many nice friends to look at me and see, okay, go for it and that means so much to me. The men's 50 meter butterfly final was guaranteed to be close. The one length splash and dash final saw a host of the best sprinters on the planet plunge into the pool with one goal. Good start up there for Shane Cassis, he's always out quickly, alongside him Isaac Cooper. Now they'll start to come through in the middle, Cooper's still right up there though, and so too is Cassis. Now in the middle lanes, it's Andrew and Carter, and down there's McAvoy, McAvoy, this is going to be awfully tight. It sees Manos Ribeiro, then Andrew, then McAvoy. Yesterday and today at uh, lunchtime, I couldn't sleep uh, thinking about being a world champion. The final final of day 11 at the 2024 World Aquatics Championships was the women's 200 meters individual medley. The defending champion Kate Douglas of the USA lined up in lane four and was the pre-race favorite. Douglas began to pull clear on the freestyle leg, but who would join her on the podium? She is surging towards a gold medal. Kate Douglas doing it very comfortably after being challenged early. The race is for silver and bronze. It's Pickram in second, Yu Yi Ting in third, and that is the order they'll finish. A goal to the United States here. Kate Douglas takes it out. Pickram, silver for Canada. Yu, bronze for China. Uh, you know, come back after winning this summer um, and to win again and to go even faster than I did this summer is a pretty awesome feeling. And yeah, that was a great race, so I was really happy to come out on top.